I mean, I respect Levi's. They're like the grandfather of everything, but I don't know how you could be the iconic American brand and take everything you do out of the United States. My name is George Wilson. I'm originally from Florida and I've lived in LA for almost 40 years. There was a contest, the US Open in 1977 and everyone came, Alva, Jay, Shogo, like basically all the top pros from California came to Florida. And we got busted in a pool during that time, so Shogo ended up staying for three months because he had to go to court and stuff. So that's how I ended up moving out here with Shogo and started riding for Z-Flex in uh, 78. Being accepted in the area, like around Dogtown and with the, you know, the Z-Boys and all that, that's one of the highlights. And then just the friends I made and of course the dream is make it in California, man. Basically what I do is I, I'm mainly a denim manufacturer, taking designs, getting the patterns made, sourcing the fabric and putting it all together. I have like 30 machines in the back, so I put it all together here. Okay, this is basically, this is sort of a unique denim. This is a 16 ounce. It's from a Japanese mill, it's called Nihon Minpu. And this is like a pretty rigid, but it also has like a lot of texture on it. On standard denim, like the edges are all cut off, so when you do a selvage jean, you actually, it goes right to the edge and then it's cut from the center. And what that means, that's the original way that denim was produced. It's a lot more uh, labor intensive to cut a selvage jean. This is like a, this is a decent specimen of like a subtle vintage wash. So most all this work's done by hand. These are, like you have to have kind of a talented guy to make it look good. It's called the dry process. So they do the, they do the whiskering, the sanding. This is hand sanded. A little bit of grinding with like a Dremel drill. This is way less time in the stone, how it see it's darker and then this is lighter. And when they say stone wash, they're actually done with stone. Basically what this is is like a replica wash of like a 70s or 90s, you know what I mean? So this is just a basic stone for a long time, over an hour, with maybe a little bit of potassium to drop the color. The good part about it is hopefully, like I say, like I, I call it, it's like a pie, like, so hopefully every, everyone involved in an expensive garment is getting a slice of pie, where cheap clothing is definitely not being made ethically at all, so. Yeah, I've been producing for 27 years and I've never made a piece out of LA, not even a sample, you know, and, and I've uh, done well for that and I've suffered immensely for that. People could say things about me, but no one's gonna say I f them over, ever, you know what I mean? I just, I live true to myself and I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. This is the worst garment I ever bought. You don't have that, man. I don't know, man. I have such great taste. I don't know if I've ever bought a bad garment. <laughs> <laughs>